where to start as our first step let's visit https aws.amazon.com certification web page let's go to the security specialty certification page and download the exam guide the exam guide is your basic artifact to start the preparation bookmark or save it somewhere handy i extracted needed information from the exam guide and developed next few slides to make things easier let's see what's the primary objective of the exam or what they will test you against from the functional area of aws security first objective is understanding of data classification and data protection mechanisms data classification is the foundational step in cyber security risk management it involves identifying the types of data that are being processed and stored aws offers several services and features that can facilitate the organization's implementation of a data classification and protection mechanism I will be covering the services when we review the exam domains. Now, just an overview of core objective of the exam. Second objective is understanding of data encryption methods and AWS mechanism to implement them. Data protection refers to protecting data while in transit and at rest. You can protect data in transit by using SSL. or by using client side encryption but you have multiple options to protect the data at rest and in transit using aws services again i will be covering the services when we review the exam domains the third objective is understanding of secure internet protocols and aws mechanism to implement them for greater communication security when accessing aws resources you should use https instead of http for data transmissions https uses ssl or tls protocol which uses public key cryptography to prevent eavesdropping tampering and forgery you have to get familiar with these protocols and implementation of them with various aws services Fourth objective is to test your working knowledge of AWS security services and features of services to provide a secure production environment. For me, this is more related to your hands-on experience. I hope you had some AWS experience. If not, it is very important to perform some hands-on labs or practice when you prepare for the exam. One important thing about the security specialty exam 50% of the exam questions are going to focus on low level technical details or implementation without some level of practice it is very difficult to answer them so please please do as much as hands on practice while preparing for the exam fifth objective is to test your production deployment experience using aws security services and features again this is similar to previous objective but focus more on production implementation experience when we talk about production it is more focused towards to incident response monitoring and logging domains again we will be reviewing these domains later in the video the next objective is making trade off decisions with regards to cost security and deployment complexity given a set of application requirements this subject is more focused on testing our ability to make decisions based on the selected or designed solution against security and cost sometime your design might be a cost effective design but does it fulfill the security requirements or you may have the best solution to address the security requirements but does it come under your operational budget So when you design a solution you have to think other requirements such as cost security resource and complexity of your solution The last objective is understanding of security operations and risk 
although governance risk and compliance are often viewed as a separate functions there is a relationship between them governance establish the strategy and control for meeting a specific requirements that align and support the business risk management connects specific controls to the governance and assessed risk and provides business leaders with the information they need to make the informed decisions it is more functional area to focus which spread across all exam domains reading aws white papers and blogs will provide needed knowledge for the exam we are done with the exam objectives now don't get confused exam objectives with exam domains when you study or review exam domains please keep the objective in back of your mind so that you know what to focus on the next section in the study guide talks about recommended aws knowledge a minimum of 5 years of it security experience designing and implementing security solutions or at least 2 years of hands on experience securing aws workloads again don't get disappointed it is recommended by aws but not mandatory requirements or prerequisite i strongly believe you can successfully complete the certification without such experience provided that you do hands on practice during your preparation so please spend more time on hands on before you attempt the exam